What is poppin' my good people? It is Typho, back with another speed battle video. Hope you're having a good one. We got some breaking news. Insane drama alert spec shit. Um, Noli has uh, made an insane announcement, guys. And she noticed the concerns and has made changes to where Hogman out. It wasn't her that single-handedly did it. It was a team of 30 goons that finally came to the conclusion that, okay, this character might be a little bit too good. Not, not like, uh, about, like, Five videos exist on YouTube now, explaining how broken he is. Um, but it, it's it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Okay. Um, reduced dark blast speed. That's 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 great. Although I have some gameplay that I'm going to be showing as well. It definitely got slowed down, but like it's not a significant enough slowdown to make Werehog make not broken. And then reduced chance of picking up multiple dark blasts. Fair enough. Uh, it's not like. A single is not going to do the job, though. I guess that's just how hard I think is. I think that's what what it takes to fix the win rate for this character. The dark blast speed increase was very, very big before this nerf. Like it used to be able to outspeed a good few boosts, and you'd never be able to get people in projectile or trap range, which was a disaster. Not only that, if you froze a person who was in the dark blast trail, they would basically zoom away even quicker than they would have probably been trying to catch the top of the trail. Because there's that area in the middle of it which doesn't give you the speed. But if you're at the very back of it, which being frozen would definitely have you being, you get like a heap of speed. It's stupid, but these were like big problems with Dark Blast. And now, it travels way quicker than the speed it gives you. So now you're not able to like stay at the front of it as easily. It's still possible and you can still get crazy speed buffs, but it's not as insane and easily usable as it was. So people who think they're good all of a sudden because you're using Werehog, rethink your fucking life decisions. You're actually trash. Whenever the full nerf comes, all these kids gonna drop. I can't wait to see it. As for me, I've barely freaking played. And whenever I did play, it was hunting for infinite. And if I was hunting for infinite, you had no choice but to use Werehog, so... There you go. I mean, I'm not gonna say it's okay for me to use Werehog. It's definitely fucking not. Like, I'm, I'm a massive problem too. But like, I'm not sitting here fucking abusing it to the maximum. Trying to get as high of a trophy count as I possibly can because what the fuck's the point in that? I've already done 7k. Why the fuck would I go and do it with Werehog? <clears throat> it doesn't make the achievement any better. In fact, anyone who gets 7k with Werehog, you, you could get 8k with Werehog. I wouldn't give a fuck because that character is lousy. And yeah, that's just the way it is, man. But Infinite now appears as well in all of our races. Every single one. And he is not influential of the trophy system in your races so if you come second and infinite comes first you get first if you come second and a player comes first and infinite comes third you get a chest but you lose trophies for second and it is for a three player race not a four player race so the losses can be pretty brutal the wins can be pretty shit the higher you are and yeah if you get fourth you're all good because you get third but the third is pretty painful because there's only three players in the lobby i don't get why they've done this I, I understand you just want Infinite chess to be all obtainable via battles and you racing him, but like, it's very evident to me that Infinite being introduced as an AI into the game and he's using all these items, it's probably some kind of test to see just how broken he is and if he's like way too good, because obviously if he was winning all these games against all these people, Hardlight would be able to say, okay, he's way too good, we can't release this yet, we need to fucking stop playing this shitty prank we're playing on Twitter because holy god it was cringe as fuck, but... Since he was trash as fuck over the first like the first few days, only now is he really abusing his boost and spamming items like a mad lad. He used to just like use that projectile of his and then maybe the odd auto mine and then boost and then he'd never use items for the remainder of the race. And he still does that. It's really, really funny to be honest, because like it just shows you how shit of a programming team that hardly have. But yeah, he's appearing in every race now. And yeah, I, I don't get it, man. He like afks and just gives up <clears throat> he's also like immune to ice effects apparently that's a rumor that i've heard now whenever i say immune to ice effects i don't mean oh he's like oh if you freeze him nothing happens it means that like he loses 10 rings but like he can still move around apparently i don't know for sure what the crack is but that was a rumor from someone uh we'll see you now whenever the character finally drops can't wait to see how many units or characters it's going to take to unlock him and we'll see what his upgrades are like guarantee you it's going to be completely retarded just like the rest of the introductions to this game over the last few months but here let's see how things go referring back to infinite and how he's basically an ai in your races and therefore isn't counted towards the trophy system if you get second you can technically still get trophies like second will still reward some people 
but in most of my cases now where I've raced infinite and come second and a player comes first, I've gotten minus four up to minus eight. Uh, so that's just something I thought I'd point out. So that's all I kind of got to say for now, guys, about Infinite Warehog nerf, and that's kind of all the rundown of news. Like, there's obviously an event there, pick your friggin' team resistance or Infinite, I don't... Do you really give a shit anymore? I don't give a fuck anymore. I, I just can't be asked. They've, they've made some event where you can get gold rings as a clear mission, that's, that is great. Thank God, Hardlight. You've finally given people an accessible way to get gold rings without farking out 100 euro for a horde. That is amazing, even though a horde would only get you the equivalent of 400,000 gold rings, because that's apparently worth 100 euro. God damn hard, like, you're really good with uh, scaling your currencies with real life currencies. Perfect. I, 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 I just love this. But you guys, hope you all keep safe and uh, don't get COVID. But you will all see me in the next one, I'm sure. I might do a live commentary or something, actually. Like, I, I'll do something like that. I've been really considering something like that and just using something goofy for like 20 minutes. I don't know, we'll see. But guys, let me know how you're feeling down below as always. And if you still enjoyed the video, definitely consider leaving a like. And uh, I'll definitely get reading the comments very soon. So uh, hope you have a good one. It's been your boy Tyfe. I'm going to sign off now. Peace out, guys.